and a way of saying things that made me think that they thought I wouldn't shit. It was like a form of belittling, okay? Their attitude. And I I couldn't stand that shit. But because they were older than me, I kept my mouth closed. But I couldn't stand it because I couldn't understand why this motherfucker, every time they show up, instead of them talking to me like I'm a person, you know, and trying to make me feel comfortable, you want to come in and try to make me feel like I ain't shit. That's what motherfuckers do. And it makes you wonder, why would you come in and do something like that? You got a problem with me? Or is it my situation? Uh, what is it? You want to be me? What's the problem? So, yeah. You, so you need to question that shit when motherfuckers come in. Like, uh, let me, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say, uh, Let's say that you've been sitting down, you've been working your numbers, you've been working your numbers, okay, and you think you got it down to a size, and you fooled around there and told somebody that you thought was a good friend, and this motherfucker went back and told somebody else, all right, somebody else maybe in your family or somebody else that you look up to that's older. Instead of them, you know, applauding you or something, this bitch-ass motherfucker, can I call him that because I'm feeling this shit right now. Instead of them coming in there and applauding you or trying to praise you or trying to encourage you, what is this I hear about you playing the numbers and thinking you got it right? That's like they're saying the very audacity to think that you that smart or you that blessed. You know, they make you want to shove your fist up and, and tell them that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know where I'm going with that. Just shove your fist right up a mother's. Because it don't it ain't even worth it. Why would you do that? Why would you even try to kill another person's uh light? Dim it. All right? Or even step on their thunder. That's that's a form of belittling a person. So, you know. If you can overlook that son of a bitch, do that. All right. So I see you over here in hangman mode. You're trying to see things from a whole nother perspective. But yet and still, you say, I'm going a, I'm to a push on and I'm going to have a good time. I know it, girlfriend, boyfriend. Yeah, overlook that motherfucker. They don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Because they know not what they do. You know, and then again, they might know what they're doing. But they want you to be in the same road as them. That's their crab and a bucket mentality. You know, they might not feel that good about themselves, so they want to bring you down, looking down at you. What is this I hear? Bitch, don't talk to me like that. You got a car that flipped up and jumped up in the air. Eight of Pentacles, okay. All right, congratulations. There's something you're doing that's going to take off. All right, it's going to bring you some wealth. All right, if this is a job, I think you're creating a whole job. A whole position. I don't know if this is a job on a you creating another position at a job or what. I don't know if you can see this here, but I, I'm gonna see if I can get it to you. All right, there's healing coming in your finances. There's a lot of creativity. There's some increase. All right. Mm hmm. Uh. Yeah. There's some insight coming in. Okay. Yeah, you connected. Your third eye is, is wide open. Oh, it's a bunch of beautiful stuff. I know you can't see it, but I'm going to try to get you to see it anyway. Look at all them colors up there. And uh, my, my device may not do it justice, okay? But those are some beautiful colors, okay? All right, you got the justice card at the bottom, okay? All right, I'm going to stop on your reading. All right, you got some good news. I mean, uh, the scales are being balanced, okay? The truth is coming out about a situation, circumstances. I want to let you know, when people talk to you, chances are that they do, they have a jealous streak. They might not never tell you, but they got one against you, and they don't want you to get up. You ever seen a dog, all right, when somebody been kicking that dog around and stuff, and you walk in the room or something, instead of the dog being happy, they tuck their tail in, and they get curled up, and they look up at you like that? That's what kind of that's what kind of uh, uh, emotion, a place this person is trying to put you in. And we ain't taking that shit. You hear me, Libra? And that goes for everybody in here. Never again let another person bring you down or make you feel like you ain't shit. 
可是现